Hi everyone, welcome back to the AGS tutorial. And we're going to start talking about the dialogue system within within AGS. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the um, the Monkey Island style dialogue, which which I showed in the last video. Um, the first thing that you really want to do in when you know designing your dialogue, actually when designing a game period, is to really have everything laid out and know exactly what your characters are going to say. Um, during the dialogue and know what options are going to be presented to the user uh, or to the player and everything like that. You want to have that laid out before you ever start creating your dialogue. Um, so what I've done is I've created just a simple text file uh, here, which is you know my very simple dialogue that I'm going to show off in this video, and it's just it's just you know text file with. Uh, with my different dialogue options. So what I want to do is I want to have Sammy talking to Donatello and I want to present the user with five different options uh, to what they can say, which is what I've got here. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is just my personal way of keeping notes. You know, you can do this however you want to. Um, but I want the first option, uh, I want Sammy to say, hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? And then Mr. Donatello to respond, nothing much, Sammy. What's up with you? And then Sammy says, I'm just standing around the main hall. Okay, so you can see that I just kind of put it in a sort of a script style format with you know the character colon space and then what the what they want what the what I want the character to say, uh, and then just sort of go back and forth. Um, this second one here, then said Sammy says, uh, "Hey, look over there! It's a three-headed monkey." And then Donatello says, "Where?" And then this is just a note. Donatello turns around to look. Uh, Sammy says, "Ha ha! Just kidding." And then Donatello turns back to Sammy and he says, "Why I oughta?" Um, so we'll talk about how to do that, and that involves just a little bit of scripting, but we'll get into that as well, uh, either this video or the next one. And then the third one is just, um, again, it's just a simple, straightforward, back and forth dialogue. Um, Sammy says, boy, it's a wonderful day. Um, Donatello says, I wouldn't know, I never leave the house. And then Sammy says, that's a shame. Um, so, on, and then on number four then, he says, tell me about yourself. Mr. Donatello says, what do you want to know? And then this triggers a new dialogue, which is which is down here, um, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then the fifth one is how to sort of exit from the dialogue. So you say, Sammy says, okay, I've talked to you enough now, bye. And then Donatello says, bye, Sammy. Um, this dialogue that's triggered here then from this, when he says, tell me about yourself, uh, is three options. And the first one is, it says, uh, Sammy says, so remember, this is after Sammy says, tell me about yourself. Donatello says, what do you want to know? And then we get three new options. Uh, the first one is, how old are you? And he says, how old are you? And he says, I'm not telling. Now, this then, I want this to be, um, to stay on the screen. And if Sammy asks again, how old are you? He says, I'm not telling you again. Um, and it says, this is Donatello's refer response the first and second time he's asked. The third time he responds, stop as asking me that. So this will uh, introduce a little bit, you know, more scripting, uh, which which we'll get into. How how do you how do you have um, the character respond differently depending on um, certain things that have happened already in the game, which is what which is what this is trying to demonstrate. The second option, what is your middle name? He says, my first name is Mister. Middle name is period. Last name is T. I mean Donatello. Um, kudos to Mister T. Uh, and the third option here is um, Sammy says, I guess there's nothing else I want to know. Donatello says, suit yourself, and then I didn't put in here, but this, um, go back to the first dialogue. So once you say this, he says, suit yourself, and then it goes back to the first dialogue, allowing you to choose these options again. So sort of a nested dialogue there. So we'll go over how to do all of that um, in this video, and it might spawn into the next video as well. The first thing that you want to do when you're creating the dialogue then, after you've come up with that script and know exactly what your characters are going to say, is you want to go into the um, project tree here and find your dialogues. Now by default you already have one if you created the default game and it'll be D dialogue zero. The little, K, the little D stands for dialogue and then the rest of the name is just however you want to, to call your dialogue. Um, so I'm just going to double click on that to open it. And there's nothing in the dialogue yet except for um, these three lines here. But basically, your dialogue editor is split up into two sections. The left-hand section is all of the options that the character can choose from, and the right-hand section is the dialogue script. And this is really what happens when the character, when the player chooses the different uh, options. Now, by default, th this is similar to the the scripting 
um, the, the, the scripting language that we've seen already. But in the dial, the dialog system uses a different, a little bit different syntax, a little bit different, um, different way to interact uh, with the player. So we'll go over that. Anything with a slash slash here is a comment. Um, so this first line is a comment. And then you see a, an at s and then followed by the word return. The at s basically says this, anything between this at s, and underneath this at s is ha happens when the dialog starts. So if you want something to happen when, as soon as the dialog starts, maybe a character says something immediately when the dialog begins, or if you want um, just anything to happen, you'd put it here underneath this at s, you just hit enter, and you'd start typing. In our case, we don't want that. We don't want anything to happen when the, when the, um, the dialog starts, so we'll just kind of ignore this for now. But we do want to create, go ahead and create a new option for the, character, for the player. So we click, click on Create New Option, and that gives us option number one, and it gives us a text box. Well, this is what, this is what will be displayed to the, to the user. So we just want the, this string right here, Hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? That'll be our first option. So I'll copy that, and I'll just simply paste it in here. Hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? Um, I'll kind of skip over these two checkboxes here for now. But notice when I clicked on create new option, notice what happened over here. We have now have an at one and a return. So now anything that happens underneath this at one is gonna be triggered by when the player clicks on this first dialog option here. So in this case, whenever the player, player clicks on the first dialog option, we want Sammy to say, hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? Well, I could say here to tell Sammy to say, hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? But that's what this say checkbox is for. If this is checked, then the character, then Sammy will automatically say this whenever the user clicks it. If you don't want Sammy to say this whenever the user clicks it, if this is just um, a word, like maybe ask Mr. Donatello what's up. Well, you don't want, you wouldn't want Sammy to say ask Mr. Donatello what's up. You just want that as sort of a message to the user. Well, then you wouldn't click the say box. You would say don't, don't have the character say this message. Um, just have, have the message displayed on the screen. So we'll, we'll put that back to, uh, hi, Mr. Donatello, what's up? We do want Sammy to say it. And then immediately after Sammy says it, we want Mr. Donatello to respond. So how do we do that? Well, bring back up TextPad again. Um, so what we want is we want Mr. Donatello to say, you know, nothing much, Sammy, what's up with you? And then Sammy to say, I'm just standing around in the main hall. Well, it just so happens that this is the exact syntax. This is exactly how we would tell AGS to, to do this, to say these things. So what I can do is I can just copy that, go back into the editor here, and paste. And you'll see what happens here is the character's name, the syntax here is you want the character's name, a colon, an optional space, and then the string that you want the character to say. Um, now, we've been referring to Mr. Donatello in the past as C. Donatello and Sammy as C. Sammy, but in the script system, you don't put that little C in front. You just say Donatello and Sammy. So I just say Donatello, nothing much, and then Sammy, I'm just standing around. So that's how you get the characters to talk to one another. So um, let's go ahead and create another one now. I'll create this one. Actually, we copy what we want the option to be, which is, hey, look over there, it's a three-headed monkey. I'm going to copy that. Create new option. Paste. Now I created an at two. So between the at two and the return, I want the rest of this conversation. Copy this, paste here. Now this Donatello turns to look and Donatello turns back to Sammy. These are just notes for me, which I'm gonna take those out for now and I'll, I'll have him turn and look uh, in, uh, later. Okay, so now we need to have this conversation triggered whenever Sammy um, talks to Mr. Donatello. So what we do is we go back into the characters under Mr. Donatello. Now characters, just like other objects in the game, have, event, have an events tab. So we click on the events tab for Mr. Donatello. And then under here where it says talk to character, well this is where we want to trigger the dialogue to start. So we click, um, we click the ellipsis button just like we've done before with events. And this creates a new function for us, but it creates it in the global script. The global script is just a script, the script um, that's accessible from any room within the game and not just from a particular room, um, which is by default is where uh, character events um, functions go. But for this C Donatello talk here, what we want is we want that dialogue that we just created to start whenever we talk to the character. So all we have to do, well, the dialogue was called D Dialogue Zero, 
dot start, open close parentheses, and then a semicolon. And let's go ahead and run that. So now if we, uh, oh, and I've moved Mr. Donatello from out, from in the closet uh, into the main hall so that Sammy can talk to him. But if we talk to Mr. Donatello now, now we get our two options. We click on the first one, and because we told him to say, we, we, he says that, Mr. Donatello responds, and then Sammy responds. And then um, we can click the second one here. Hey, look over there, it's a three-headed monkey. And then Mr. Donatello should respond, where? And then he says, ha ha, just kidding. And he says, why I, I ought to? Now, right now, he doesn't turn to look, like in my notes, but we'll do that uh, in the next video. So that's just the basics here. And in the next video, we'll go over the, um, the little bit more advanced things uh, within this particular dialogue. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys.